Uh, my name is Kamal Warren and uh, I day trade the FTSE 100. So what was so interesting about the 20th of March? Um, I just picked up this particular day because uh, it gives me an opportunity to show another chart pattern that happens normally at, at um, top of a chart pattern. That means you're looking at a rising price trend. And uh, it's what's called a head and shoulder formation um, just here. So effectively you're looking at um, head and two shoulders. You wouldn't get as how you draw a picture really head and two shoulders like that, but it, it could be in a, in a slightly um, in a different fashion like that, but it is what chartists would call a head and shoulder formation. So you're looking at, this is known as a head and shoulder, it's not a great example, but if you were to make the chart a bit smaller, you can sort of see. Uh, a a head and shoulder? Head. Head, head and shoulder. Head and shoulder. Okay. Uh, you made that term up? Um, it's a good question, I think. <laughs> Um, I, I picked it up when I was learning about chart patterns in uh, Tom Bulkowski's book. Uh, it could have been him or it could be someone else, okay. I don't know. So yeah, so that is the chart pattern formation. What you're looking for is a break below the neckline. So again, you've got one, two, three, uh, three, almost four touch point. And the break happens there. Uh, true enough, the chart pattern principles, when the break happens there, it just tanks. So you're looking for a short trade there, uh, that means to sell the FTSE there around about 9.15 and obviously the other bit that you need to look at is where do you take profits and that's where you go back to your 15 minutes chart. Uh, I've got it drawn in already but I can do that again so if you take, so we're looking at 20th of March where we are here so you can see uh, there are resistance line there. But in order to see how far down it may go, you take the previous high immediately before that and take the lowest low and plot your Fibonacci numbers. And voila, you can see the 61, 62% mark. That's exactly where the three peaks, the three top happens. And because you've got a short working here, uh, your next profit level, again I don't have the pivot points otherwise we can contrast that against the pivot points but uh, I would have taken profit at 50% because I would expect it to reverse there at least. Uh, it may just punch through but it seems like it just bounced there. So my first target will be 447. So you're shorting the market there. First target is 447 around about there. And uh, you see the 50% it just it sort of tried to bounce probably it's because of this support here and then it just punch right through again in this case in this particular trade you'd have two trades operating there your first trade would have taken profit there at 47 mark and your second trade would have gone to break even and your second trade moves down all the way but probably would have been closed down before the market closes it doesn't matter 